All right, YouTube. What is up? What is up? Let's make big moves. Top eight inbound. I think normally I was like, normally I'm over there uh, for the, the the videos, but I'm over here this time. I, you know, I mean, we got Sonic on the stream <laughs> going on right now. You know, versus the FGC character, it, it might go to time. So just in case, you know, I don't want to block the timer and you know all that good stuff. You know, I think I'm over here. I don't remember off the top of my head. But regardless, let's make big moves. The top 8 is happening right now. I am recording this. We're currently, as you can see, Riddles and Sonics, they did make top 8 at this event. Um, in the winner's side, there is Tweak versus MK Leo. Always a classic, of course. Hopefully, you know, you know, a better fight than last time. Who else is in the winner? Oh, uh, Spargo versus Gluto. That's also a classic, too. They always have really good sets. And then the other final set that's in loser's bracket is uh, Big Boss, another player from Mexico. You might have seen him a lot in doubles, uh, teaming with Leo at a bunch of majors or just events because they always travel together. Uh, he got top B. I I think it was the first time at his uh, first time top B at a super major. So yeah, congratulations to Big Boss. Uh, he's going to be fighting against the bot incarnate himself, uh, Light. <laughs> it's he's, he's fighting against light light also got top eight he lost to gluto earlier today but you know still in it enough of that intro we're watching this i mean you know it's sonic with a lead when well, i saw it it's sonics and sonic with a lead it's definitely going to be really hard for riddles this is not the first time these two are playing if you guys remember they had a really really close set as ceo uh went down to the wire but sonics did indeed take it Ooh, good up b I think they've played more than just that, too. I think they've played on uh, other events. But, yeah, Sonics is definitely in favor in between these two. And right, right now, it's uh, not looking too good for Riddles. If you've been to my stream before, you, you will know. Anytime I play Kazuya or Ken, Ryu, like, an FGC character, I always run into the corniest character possible. Like, everybody already uh, runs away from the FGC characters because, you know, they're just like you know that's just how that's just what you do against them right but i find the corniest runaway characters like pikachu pichu mega man sonic so looking at this i'm just like yep <laughs> yeah this looks about right riddles is riddles is kazi movement too is just like it's just so damn good too but like <laughs> it doesn't matter how good it is you ain't catching this fucking this fucking hedgehog bro Oh, uh, that that actually almost landed. He super armored a couple of the hits. Oh, that's it. He has no jump. He has no jump. It's over. Man, I can I can feel the tilt from Riddles. Like I can feel it. Like that was probably very very painful of a game to play. It looked like Kazuya could do shit. <laughs> we might see Terry. So Terry is a Terry is a better choice uh, than Kazuya. I would feel like, even though Sonic can also still play the same kind of game, it's just that uh, Terry has Crack Shoot, which as you just saw immediately, Crack Shoot is really good at closing the gap between an FGC character or like a, 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 well closing the gap between two players. But that's not a good start. That is not a good start at all. I was gonna say, yeah, Crackshu is good at, at closing the gap between Terry and anybody. FGC character, Sonic, a zoning character, stuff like that. But unfortunately, with that first stock now, ooh, that, this is gonna be really hard. This is gonna be really, really difficult. This might be the first time that Riddles is using Terry today as well. I don't know if he warmed it up, but like, like you, these are the characters that you have to be like ready to go with. But if he was already planning to just only go all Kazuya and then just swap into Terry, he's definitely not going to be as pristine as it normally is. But right now, this is looking brutal. This is looking way worse than I thought it would go. Okay. I know Riddles has a Roy. Or he, he likes using Roy a lot. Don't know if we'll see it here. But I heard, you know, Sonic's worst matchup is Roy or like one of the hardest. Don't know how uh, correct that is, but... There's a small possibility we might see this, uh, see that matchup at this rate because like, this is looking bad. Well, honestly, it was it's looking bad, but like he's doing equivalent to how his Kazuya was doing. Now, oh never, oh my God, never mind. <laughs> never mind. This is a one-player set right now. Oh, I was right. I was right. I was right about the Roy. <laughs> 
And he opens with a zero to death. Oh, oh he, he could have got a zero to death. Mm. That uh, B was that was a Kazuya B. <laughs> he tried to like yeah, time uh, the the spin dash going into uh, Roy's direction with the super armor with Roy up B. That's that's gonna kill. Oh. Yeah, that's definitely rare. Man, Sonic's looks like he's playing really well. And if you're watching this and you have no idea who ended up sending Sonic's into losers bracket, it was Big Boss. Big Boss beat Cola, Anathema, and Sonic's to make it into top eight. I I don't I don't know when when's the last time I've seen uh, Riddles get like 3-0'd like this. Like this is looking like he has no answers right now. Oh my god, he almost he almost wrapped it up with that. If he got that next back here, it would have solidified the stock. Bring it a last stop, man. We need we need a fighting chance out here, man. Let's go. It might be it. Almost. Oh, that's it. Oh, missed a sweet spot. That's it now. Oh my god, dude. I keep thinking he's gonna just back air that shit, but I guess I guess it's a little easier said than done. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Roy got that kill power. That's it. There was not much to be said there besides just dominating gameplay from Sonics, honestly. Good stuff, good stuff. All right. The homie Light, the GO. Nah, nah it's uh, Light versus uh, Big Boss. Big Boss definitely making the run right now. This is the second hour. This is the second Fox, uh, second rob that light is facing off against today he did fight off against um zomba earlier today and won three two if i'm not mistaken went to game five this is the first time light and big boss are probably ever playing i feel like i've never seen them play before so fighting light for the first time i can't even imagine how it's gonna how it feels you know obviously i've been fighting him since like smash 4 and stuff like that but like first time best fox in the world like like i don't know if big boss will be ready for this you know this ain't the first time life fighting against rob that's for sure so we'll see we'll see i already took he already took care of the first um the first stock light right now i can tell he, he's like a little unsure of how big boss plays uh how he approaches things with rob so he's like playing a little bit slower right now just to understand the option selects that uh big boss is going for but then, as time keeps going, we'll, we'll see him speed up for sure. Wow, what the fuck? He interrupted the, the up air with, uh... He interrupted Light's up air with his own up air. That's the classic. Ain't not much... There's not much to really say there, honestly. It's just... He's just nice with it, bro. He's just nice with it. Yeah, he's good at getting those tech chases. That F smash hits hard as fuck. That shit would kill, like, most care. Ooh, get back. Get out of my face. Okay. A, a little, a little odd scramble there. Oh, a little odd scramble, but then Light just was like, "Ah, right, you know what? Take this 50-50." <laughs> I don't know if Battlefield is the right call, honestly, because like the thing is, Rob gets all the like Rob cheese and all that stuff for stuff that happens off stage. Wow, that was a really good down smash. Fox, he's gonna just. He's just gonna cook platform or no platform, I guess Fox cooks, but like you're just making it a lot easier for Yeah. Ooh. I'm telling you, man, this is the first time he's fighting light, I'm pretty sure. This is he, he's probably like, damn, am I really missing all these texts? But there's a lot of delayed texts and all this shit that's mad annoying. Or a lot of mix ups on shield, you have to guess oh my god. He's feeling comfortable now. Remember, I remember I bro I, I mentioned it uh in the last game. I said that if if the first game light is gonna he's gonna take things a little bit slower just to get an idea of how big boss like um picks his options because this is the first time they're playing against each other. But then 
As the set keeps going, he's gonna start. He's gonna start going faster and faster, or just like starting to respect him uh, a lot less because now he has a good idea of how he, um, like you know, uh, he just he just decides to know, uh, or he basically is like, all right, this is how you respond to me doing this. Oh, you don't know how to deal with this scenario? I'm gonna take this to the next level. Hold up, though. Honestly, this matchup looks. Uh, this matchup actually looks pretty difficult for Rob if he doesn't get the bullshit. <laughs> Stay moist. Among Us! Woo. I mean, I've noticed that Big Boss likes landing closer to the ground with down air. Uh-oh. Ooh, ooh. If he got the last hit of down air, he would have been cooking. But, like, I mean, he got all the percent that he would have got before. Oh, he should have reflected right in front of him. Actually, wait, I think it might have actually pushed him away because that it's like a there's like a actual like physical hitbox if you get hit by like Rob in front of his face. I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, tech chase? Nope. Ah, <laughs> get fucked. Oh, this is bad. Dash attack, up smash. Oh, nair. Okay, another nair. I he tried, he tried, he tried. <laughs> This man really tried to footstool Rob. Like, even if you footstool Rob, my guy, it's Rob. He's not a normal character, man. The way he recovers. <laughs> Forward air drag down. Oh, my God. The Yo, Fox is so dumb, bro. I, I don't give a fuck. I probably... <laughs> I've probably been annoying. Fo uh, I've been annoying Light more about Fox because I understand Peak Fox. Obviously, he understands Peak Fox too. But uh, you know, he's probably been getting more annoyed with me bitching about Fox. But it's not my fault. When I see shit like this, it's like, bro. But yeah, Light moves on into losers' quarters. Top five guaranteed. Yeah. It is time to go down. So, Tweet versus Leo. Let me talk about this real quick. For the longest time, people have been saying that, you know, like Diddy Kong versus Joker sucks. In my personal experience, I don't think it sucks. But people are saying that he will never go uh, Joker against his Diddy Kong because the matchup is bad and stuff like that. Bro. I've seen Leo shit on like Esam and stuff like that before and Pikachu versus Joker is pretty hard and I've seen him do matchups where it feels like it, it looked and it looks impossible he makes it work man he was the best player I, I can't even say was he is the best player man he is he is man he was a sheep last time but he'll go again but anyway no no uh jokes aside I definitely think his Joker was is more than capable capable enough of beating literally anybody in this world tweak has been on fire uh, as of recent of course but regardless matchup wise the way that the way that leo moves bro like look you can you can kind of just see it right now tweak doesn't know how to get the hits in because of how he moves with joker bro like his the joker is literally one of the most frustrating things to fight against in this game probably even now because like his movement is just really good i don't know i know i sound like i'm just been i i just been wanting to see this this joker for a long time obviously this shit is from like prehistoric times at this point but currently he's doing really good i am very excited for the set tweak though you know not, he doesn't look tweak doesn't look tilted he's down by 110 percent that is a good amount of percent but you know, you gotta, you gotta take it slow against this Joker, bro. I mean, I don't gotta tell him that. I don't gotta tell him that. He knows. Leo's swinging right now. Ah, uh, he messed up the follow up. I think he tried to down throw to get a DI mix up, which he did get, but he didn't go for the forward air. He went for a back air and then he messed up. I, will, I won't cap, bro. Like, Joker is, is, is definitely some bullshit. But it just feels like it's been too long, you know? It's been too long. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. Hold up, signs of life, hold up. Wait, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> nah, nah. These guys are freaking even right now, completely even. I mean, that that GG meter. Uh, Leo getting Arsene right now is actually pretty good for Tweak. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, it's pretty. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's good now because now he Arsene is gone at the percents that matter, like you know, for the kill moves and shit. That's it. It went over his head, bro. Oh man. Oh man. Oh. oh my god, bro. This feels like a game five. Yo, Arsene's coming out in like two seconds, bro. Oh! Shit! Four throw or down throw? Oh my god. That's it. Oh my god. He slingshot there. I'm pretty sure he did a slingshot back here right there just to barely land the hitbox. That was perfect. Woo! That was game one? Nah. That's not. Nah, hold up. Hold up. That was a crazy game, man. These guys put on classics time and time again, no matter what era of the game it is. I don't expect the Sephiroth at any point, by the way. I should, I should, I haven't even talked about Tweak Sephiroth, but nah, not this matchup. Not this matchup. All right, Joker versus Sephiroth. Nah, ass. I don't know, man. Movement is like the most an annoying thing. Ew. Mm, that was a, that was uncharacteristic. Maybe he thought he was going to jump side B. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy, bro. And not only that, can I, can I talk about the song that, that, that they're playing? This is like the best Pokemon Stadium song that um, like it never gets picked. This is better than the Galactic one that Light always be picking. And oh, oh, almost died there. Leo kind of getting smoke right now. Oh, no, no, he's good, he's good, he's good. Oh, I, I feel like he should have down tilted. I don't know if he would have died though. He's stalling out the Arsen, so that was smart for Tweak to do. <laughs> see, yo, Haz's reaction was the same as me. I'm like, let's go. This is what I want to see, bro. I think Joker is like obviously really, really strong, but like I feel like, he like I don't know, just the way Joker fights is definitely visually cool to to look at as well. Like he's just moving all over the place, got some nice effects on his attacks and stuff like that. Yeah, I think he's just solid, or like he's just like. Oh yeah, that, that was a that was a very greedy down there right there. All right, tweak now. Things are going more and more in his favor right now. It started from him getting his ass whooping game one, and then bringing it back, and then now having a pretty commanding lead. Oh, you're dead. Oh, actually, no, no. <laughs> on his own banana. Oh, that's it. No, oh, wait, no, no. He could come back. He could come back. He has the wall. Wow, holy crap. Oh, shit. oh, that's it. That's it. I, I, oh my god. Very rare moment of like banana catching uh, uh, Leo from across the stage like that. Jesus. Like I had to add a message Cosmos right now talking about like, like the way that that Leo moves with Joker is it actually makes me want to use Joker. Like, man, that banana barely actually hit him, dude. I don't think he expected it to actually reach him. <laughs> Yo, he saw Meister. He's like, no. Yeah, we're it. I mean, you know, Town of City makes sense to pick, but like, bro, Tweak has kind of been getting a little fortunate with, with the the bananas dropping out of his uh, hand. It's RNG, but like, it's been interrupting Leo's like sequences like perfectly. Wow, that been, that that peanut went so slow. Down throw. Oh. Shit! Oh! Shit! He read him like four times. He, des he deserved that stock. I, I can't. I can't. Ooh. Down throw? He's been doing down throw Nair a lot. Which I know it works, but like you have to be pretty precise on it. Yo, another banana drop. <laughs> Shit is gay. This, this set is actually mad intense. This is way better than their last set, though. Oh my god. That last set, I don't know what the hell happened. The amount of percent that Leo's been getting off the bullets as well, it's been like one each time, but like it's adding up. It's adding up throughout the set. Sometimes it's even more if he's closer to uh, Diddy Kong. These guys, both of their movements right now have been like crazy. I think Leo's is really, yeah, oh, that's it, you're dead. Oh, wow. Oh, that's huge. Oh my God, the scramble. 
So Leo down B there because he's trying to get Arsene before uh and he ain't trying to get McDonald's, man. Put that shit away. He was trying to get Arsene before he died there, but he couldn't get it. Couldn't quite get it. <laughs> yo, Tweak, yo, you gotta yo, if you somehow get out get rid of this Arsene, I'll be so surprised. The way he's playing. You you gonna get hit by something. <laughs> oh wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, he got rid. All right, played perfect again. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, that Z that Z drop was actually fantastic. Oh my god, I'm talking a lot about Leo's Joker. I don't even be talking about this Diddy Kong right now. Jesus. Ooh. Yo, the amount of drops. The commentators even have haven't even picked up on that. Oh my god. Yo, all of that came from that up throw, dropping the banana into Leo tripping immediately. That's crazy, bro. Item item RNG is so garbage. <laughs> it's definitely not over, but like Leo gonna have to. Wow, that was that was actually so crazy. This is crazy. The way Tweakers has been been moving this game. Nah, nah, this ain't Tweak, bro. Who the fuck is this? I don't think that's gonna kill. Oh, never mind. I didn't think I was gonna kill, but he was in such a bad spot anyway. So I was gonna say like, damn, this might be it right here. Whew, that was a really good set. Like Leo's Joker was was moving, but. Yo, I'm telling you, when that banana drop happened in this game, everything went downhill. Joker dead? Are we about to get a Spargo tweak again? Third time in a row? Winner's finals, I believe? Shit's about to be crazy. Aye, aye, another, another banger set. Another banger set. Another banger set. Glutiny versus Spargo. I haven't even seen Spargo play today. He's just already in winner semis or like got to winner semis, I guess, with no problem. I think these guys are either even in record or fairly close to even. They haven't played that much times, but I have, I know Spargo has taken it a couple times. But Gluto most notably got the um, a win at what was it was it Genesis? It was Genesis. Yeah, yeah, it was Genesis. Losers finals, and also uh, he beat him at the uh, Mexican Invitational. I cannot remember the name of it. I think they traded sets there as well. Like Spargo sent him to losers, and then Gluto. Uh, Got to grand finals or got the run back on him later that day. Regardless, that was a long time ago at this point. I'm hyped to see them play again. Oh my god. Hey, he said, fuck that shit. Just run up, dash attack. Okay. Yo, Gluto's. Yeah, word. I was about to say, yo, Gluto's been using the mobs more. I talked about this earlier. Well, earlier, like in the, the earlier portions of the bracket, not for this video. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He can't come back. And now he has to play Wario's game. I mean, he's going to continue playing the same, but like now he has to definitely deal with Waft. All this little chip damage that Gluto has been getting is, is adding up quick. Oh, it didn't. It hit the bike, but it, Cloud didn't get hit by the bike. Now, now, hold on. Gluto's kind of playing ridiculous right now. Nah. Now, hold on. Gluto's kind of playing crazy right now. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. One thing to note in this matchup is that Wario's like Nair is a weird move. Like some characters, it combos like perfectly every single time. Some other characters, it's pretty inconsistent. And this is one of the matchups where it is inconsistent. So that's why you keep seeing uh, Gluto get like a Nair one into nothing. Like he gets the first hit of Nair and then doesn't combo into the other part. It can hit sometimes, but it's inconsistent. So, um, yeah, it's crazy. It, it, it's crazy how Gluto still, with that being said, still like puts in work and just like still manages to take games and even like sets off of this crazy ass cloud oh man speaking of like hey, it's crazy how he can put it to put in work right now he gonna have to put in that work he getting whoop or tilt oh okay 
He's trying to beat you, make you feel bad. All right, wrap this game up. Wrap this game up. <laughs> Spargo, Spargo is cooking. Big chop there. That was okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, it's Wario. You know, if he gets a perfect, perfect waft stock, then it's last stock. But like, yeah, no, no bike. Ooh. Wait, and it still hit? It did shield damage, and it still, it still hit. I guess it like didn't really like it didn't fall down after, after he hit his shield with that. So I guess it still had the active hitbox on it. Holy sh! The delayed hitbox. I don't think Gluto expected that. He wasn't ready to DI like perfectly, but like, god damn, that shit was a clean four there still. Oh shit! And unteckable. Let it rip. Let it rip. He just got to fully charge Waff like like a second or two before that, but it would it would have killed anyway, cause like obviously he's. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go off stage and back air him. He had no jump. If you see Wario air dodge near the blast zone, that's how you know he has no jump. Ooh. It missed? It, did he Did he even air dodge? I don't even think he did. Spargo pressure is out of this world. That's it. He went, he went under the bike. Hit him with a dash attack. Spargo's like, another day in the office. Spargo's like reads and placements are so good. Like, it's actually insane. If the way he thinks about the game is definitely like something that is, is not, it's not normal. <laughs> Gluto needs to, never mind. I was going to say, Gluto needs to get some more damage on this stock before he actually goes. I, I, I don't know how much longer I can continue this cloud agenda. <laughs> the more I watch this, man. No. He tried to kill him with that down there. That was kind of that was kind of crazy. This is basically like the equivalent of the last set that we just watched with Leo and, and uh, Tweak. Where it was like, all right, damn, game one, okay, Gluto, and then it's, it get it, it like progressively got worse and worse and worse right now. This is oh, all right, he just did it. Bro, I'm a fan of this. This is what I'm talking about. So, oh, shit. Not human. Not human. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Losers quarters. Leo versus Light. If I recall, there was a time where Light fought against Mars and lost to his Joker, Joker versus Fox. And then I think got the run back either later that event or like sometime afterwards. I don't think he minds fighting against Joker. I think Mars just always does well against Light because like, they just know each other really well. Yeah, the last time I saw these guys play this matchup, I'm pretty sure it was like main stage, like 2019 or something like that. Light right now kind of going off, I mean, this is, oh, Leo, Leo did two down Bs. He was like, yo, Fox, you fucking masher, stop. <laughs> He's like, stop mashing. Oh, hold on, hold on. This, this Arsene put it in. Oh, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, Leo smile. He's like, you fucking masher. <laughs> I've never seen him. I've never seen Leo's Joker ever use down B this much. He's just like, yo, this man is just pressing so many buttons. Mm. He thought he was going to air dodge in. It's not going to kill. He's been landing those back airs. The shield poke, that one's going to kill. That double back air, or just that pressure of like. Fox just jumping right in front of your shield is so good, bro. I've, I've said it time and time again. You're just like, shit, what's about to happen? And boom, shield poke. Up throw up here. 
using the uh, shine right there. Oh, nice. Ooh, good stall right there. That was great positioning from Leia. I love it. You got to be able to challenge Bakken. Yeah, Light has just not been giving a fuck. He's just going to up smash, up smash, up smash. <laughs> Trying to catch him jumping out though. Good discipline from Leo and again the counter. Down B's have been really excellent from, from Leo, but like Light has been overwhelming the fuck out of Leo right now. Like his press bro, Fox pressure is so good, man. It don't matter what it don't even matter what matchup you it could be Fox's losing matchups and like bro, his pressure still is just crazy. Yo, Leo laughing. He's like, you mashing, bro. <laughs> I mean, you know, Sephiroth counter for me. You know, Sephiroth only counters right here in front of him. Not around. Not above his head. Not below. Not behind. You know, it's a rough world out there for that mid-tier. But, you know, that's a whole different topic. Anyway, back to the match. 1-1. Yeah, no, he, he, nah, he's, move, he's moving a different kind of way right now uh, from... I've never seen so even though like Fox does throw out a lot of attacks I've never seen light get hit by this many counters or like like rebels guard and stuff before like Leo is actually making like picking the right spots to do them like, He's missed how much like maybe like three counters out of like like 12 <laughs> at this point Four there four there one two that's 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 the best thing Leo does with Joker, man. His movement is just unlike anybody, bro. Like, when is the right time to strike against this? He's making Fox look like he has no chances to strike. Was that Cosmo that said, "Let's go light"? <laughs> I can't. It sounded a little bit like him. Oh, that's it. Damn. Two one. Oh man. Hold on. I'm I'm message Cosmo right now. <laughs> I said, help him. He's getting cooked. The way that Leo was moving that last game, bro. Three, a uh, three stock, man. Oh, he, you're probably dead. I'm surprised Leo didn't just jump up and Rebels guard, or like do his down B. Tech chase. Oh, come on, like you know, you know, it's a tech chase. One of the things like my brother always told me like back then too, like like for like advice is that if you ever put a, an opponent in a tech chase scenario, or if you ever put a top player in a tech chase scenario, you should always give them the benefit of the doubt that they're gonna tech. As I say that Leo missed the tech. <laughs> oh, he got the other hitbox. Like it's possible for them to miss the tech, but like you should expect them to not miss the tech. So like, let's say for that example right there, Leo missed the tech, then yeah, you could go and up air them, but like you should always be a, uh, under the assumption that they're going to actually come back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That would have been so That would have been so crazy. That would have been one of the best stocks of this tournament. Absolutely. Light just or Leo just killed Light by doing what Light always do. Oh my god, that would have been such a tragic way to go. But this is still bad. He's still off stage. He's gonna up smash. Yeah, that's it. He had very he had such a small portion of that of the Arsen meter still there. That's why it was like for sure he's gonna up smash here because he's about to run out. A really good stuff to Leo there. Jeez. All right, yo, I didn't know I didn't know Gluto had had to fall into Sonics I would say that this is not gonna be good for Gluto based off previous sets and stuff like that and the way that Sonics is playing right now Nah, 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 this is a this is gonna be a long set. I guarantee you it's gonna be a long set, bro I, I'm, I'm gonna be silent a lot of times cause I know But this is definitely an uphill battle for Gluto here Yo, yo, Gluto, Gluto has been on a YOLO waff. Uh, yo, what happened, bro? You uh, know, that was that was a really good down smash. But like, can we talk about how he's using waft, like raw waft, a lot more? I'm not expecting this because I've always, like one of the things I've said is like, like that could be a uh, it could be a good thing, but it's also a flaw at the same time. Uh, nah, that really reached. 
What the hell? Man, my predictions have so far just not been on point. I thought Leo was going to be tweaked. Like, it was going to be a close set. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Wait, wait a second, wait a second. I have never seen Gluto mistime a waft in my entire life. That, that must have been the first time I've ever seen him do a, like, mistimed waft. Probably ever, bro. Yo, but yo, budget minecart, budget minecart. Yo, he tried. Yo, he tried to get him, bro. Oh, oh, from the other way, wrong side. Here we go. Is he gonna? Is this? I mean, he's still in a really good spot. If he gets a back air near the ledge, he will kill him. Yes. Now I think we are about to be here. I'm about to. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yes, dude. <laughs> yeah, spin that sound effect, bro. I guarantee you the chat is like resident sleeper or like, oh my god, I hate that sound. But he is pressing that side B. I might as well. I might get a snack real quick. If Gluto loses this stock first, I'm gonna get up and get a snack. Ooh, okay, hold on, hold up. Snack time is not yet here. If you hit WAP, there's a sign that you could be using building WAP again, right? Well, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he lived. That not killing definitely might have solidified. Or definitely solidified that this game is is going to the next game. Unless he pulls Ah, you know what? I can't count out Cluedo. It was on this very stage where he gave me that salty ass ninth place. <laughs> Zero percent kill. He missed! Oh, I don't know if you could do this in 45 seconds. It's possible. Oh, no, the neutral okay. air, though, is going to do it up the top. He missed! How? Nah, yeah, let me see that replay. How close was that to land it? Oh, my God. That must have been, like, a frame perfect. Like, like one frame off from actually hitting him and interrupting the air dodge. All right, well, I'm getting a snack. This is a long set. <laughs> Little bites. That was a very, very good back here. Holy shit. Like Sonic, Sonic's nose went to switch gears from playing like slow and then out of nowhere. Nah, I ain't no way he died like that. <laughs> Sonic's either Sonic's let it rip or like there's like a timer like you can't hold it on you can't hold on to it forever but he was expecting Gluto to and the stream crashed for a second bro that's the shit I'm talking about right there that like Gluto could do like I was literally just talking about this like in terms of using wasps and stuff, stop saving it for like the last stock, it, it, especially in a matchup where it's like super slow, so that you get you have multiple wasps. He's doing it. He's doing it. Oh, that's a punish. Oh uh, no! Nah, again, that's two times. I disagree with that bike toss that that Sonic did. He could have. Like I said, he knows how to switch gears from being very, very defensive to, oh, right there. I'm in your face instantly. That's Sonic, bro. Don't never roll in against Wario. Never. Oh, Forzo did not connect to the second hit. He has no jump. Oh, no. Oh, he held it. Okay. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, it's not gonna happen. It's over. It's over. It's over. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, no timeout, but basically a timeout. All right. Good games. Even though it was a long set, it was a good set still. So good stuff to Sonics. Moving on to the top four. Sonics versus Leo. Spargo versus Tweak. Winners. Finals. Tweak versus Spargo again. It's weird not seeing Leo in winners finals for three big tournaments in a row. But Leo's still in this bracket, so it's not entirely over just yet. We've seen Leo make some runs before, but right now, we're not talking about him anymore. We talk about these two. Jesus. And no extra credit, bro. Tweak had a very good first stock, and that shit just did not matter right now. Mmm. A, a, a little scramble going on right now. Ooh. Yeah, something Tweak definitely really dislikes is definitely getting that four till two frame on uh, on Spargo or just Cloud in general. I, I believe like I believe one of the patches had had it. Uh, one of the patches for Cloud was that he gets to snap the ledge a little bit faster than before, and it definitely matters. Like ledge snap, like there's a bunch of useless, there's, there's a bunch of useless patches, but that's a really notable ch like change. Like that's something only competitive players will really like notice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yo, Tweak is just his his decision making right now is just it's on something, bro. All right, this has to be GG. Like limit is gone. Fifty four percent. Diddy Kong, look at there it is. It's over. It's over. Yo, Tweak, just go out there. Just literally go out there, bro. Oh my God. Yo, just go out there, bro. You're you have so you have such a big lead. Just fucking go out there. No reason to over respect them at this point. And also, Spargo air dodged two times uh, near the blast zone. So you know, oh, that's it. Okay. okay. Oh, he said he said no bands. That's raw. <laughs> yeah, tweaks results. First place, second place, second place. And currently, worst placing he can get here is third place. Definitely, uh, and they're all three like stack tournaments or like actual like notable, really, really difficult events and stuff like that. So it's not just like, oh, well, yeah, he got first place at a local. No, no, first place was at Port Priority. Second place was at uh, uh, Main Stage and the Ludwig Scuffed World Tour. And now here we are, and let's make big moves. So very, very, you know, he. For a for a person, I was gonna say character. For a person that is like you know pretty inconsistent or or you know has some inconsistent moments, definitely has picked himself back up in a very dominating way. But you know, speaking of dominating, Spargo says it's not over yet, man. All it takes is that one that one thing to click for Spargo in the set, and sometimes it's the it's the end of the set. Alright, alright. He's starting to move, y'all. He's starting to move. Damn. He basically making it look like this is the real game one. <laughs> At this rate. Mm. Good extension. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Limit is limit is all is now here. He's gonna just oh. That's it. Not too many tricks out there. I think that's just like a perfect. He's gonna cross slash again. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I feel like whenever Spargo gets a cross slash, like at the very beginning of the game, he will always go for another cross slash. Or if somebody at zero percent, he will go for an go for it again. He kn he knows it'll frustrate the opponent a lot if they get hit by two cross slashes like back to back, like in two seconds. These guys are actually like dead even right now. Holy shit.
like two games of just straight up dominating each other and now a completely even game Ooh, limit oh yep limit right now is the worst thing for tweak Ooh. oh man if he if, if he if he parried that side b he could have killed him parry into run up up smash he would have killed cloud i feel like one of the most important things is, is like like obviously spargo is like a basically like a lock-in for any top eights right now uh i would actually practice Ooh, he was back airing so much that that back air actually wasn't safe on shield it was it was stale enough for him to actually up smash and catch him but what I, what, what I was saying before is that when you, when Cloud does cross slash, the timing to like parry the last hit of cross slash is consistent every time. So for that reason, like even in a like a very scary scenario like that, if you you know practice it uh, uh, long enough, that could that could have solidified the stock right there. But Tweet got the stock anyway. He has a 75% lead. Cloud almost at limit. Spargo. Probably gonna try to kill him off this next hit, honestly. Here we go. Oh, he was too slow on that. He tried to get the try to get the 40%. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He, so far, tweak 62% uncontested, but finally gets one hit right there with the side B monkey flip kick. Oh, air dodge right there. Oh my god. If tweak threw the banana, it was probably over. The limit. This limit might be the reason why. Smargo wins or loses. Smargo's got him in the corner. Limit cross slash surely coming out soon, right? Oh, and he misses it. Mm. Tweak finds a forward air. Definitely. De oh. oh. Damn. Definitely a flub on that cross slash and just in general, that ending. Once again, sets like this are a marathon. We saw how hot Tweak was running at the beginning, but it's not over. Even after playing out of your mind that last game, you still got to get one That was a very crazy first stock in terms of just like all the things that Spargo has dodged. Only 19%. Like this right there, that combo was more percent than Tweak did that entire stock. We're about to get another game five banger at this rate. Unless. No doubt about that. Yeah, Tweak likes doing those uh, those barrel recoveries so he can mix it up. Is he going to go onto the other side of the stage or is he going to go uh, uh, to the closer ledge? He can decide for a decent amount of time. That's a stock. The cross slash is two for two right now for limit cross slash kills. Spot dodge. And he I, he would have lived anyway if he didn't spot dodge that portion of it, but woo. good fake out with the grab. That's not. Oh, I wasn't sure if that was going to do it or not. Seemed like he just barely died. It wasn't even bad the eye either. He just. It was enough. It was enough. Yo, he is getting. Mm, he is getting like whack a mold by that forward Another cross slash kill. That's three cross slash kills from when I was counting. So he might have got more cross slash kills earlier in the set, but from game four. And one stock of game five, he's gotten three out of four. So uh, three out of four stocks. Yeah, Spargo is really loving them four ears right now. But I understand why he's going for those four ears. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's going for those four ears more uh, in this game because he, he, he very likely feels like Tweak is getting uh, used to the, his back air wall. Or like, you know, his back air is potentially getting stale. So it's becoming easier for Tweak to like up smash out of shield and actually punish the back air. Damn, that sucks. Tweak, Tweak, uh, Tweak picked up the banana. That blade beam hit him, and he dropped the banana peel. Oh, that's... And just like... Oh! Wow! Good DI on Spargo. A back air instead of an up air there would have very likely killed. But it didn't matter because Tweak now brought it back. Spargo's not going to hand it to him easy. That's it. One stock left. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, the banana? <gasps> Yo, that one miss grab was so much percent. Grab? Yep. Throw him away from the banana peel. Oh, he calls him out. Okay. Oh my god. He's going blue, but the banana peel is. The timer is about to run out for the limit. It's going. A few times. The deep recovery had to outdrift him there. I'm surprised Spargos does not platform camping for the limit right now because if he gets thrown off stage, that's it. Wow. You know, Tweet trying to pop off on the low, but he's like, we're not done yet. We're not done. We're not done. We're not done. One more set, and then it can happen. That was a good winner's finals. What a set. What a set. All right. The next set Leo versus Sonics, and he's using Joker instead of Pyramifra. I think he's trying to win this tournament with just solo Joker. No, no assistance from Aegis or even Marf. I should know. Wait, no. Hold on, hold on. Never mind. He already, he already used Marf against uh, Cosmos. I forgot. Never mind. But like I mentioned before, like even in the matchups that are not in Joker's favor, it's Leo, bro. Like, yeah, it's good to. Uh, obviously, you need to know the matchups, but like. There's ma there's character matchup and then there's player confidence and player matchup and stuff like that or like player skill difference or anything like that whatever it is there's a whole bunch of like stuff to factor in you can win a losing matchup it's just gonna you're gonna have to do some outplaying but like people outplay people <laughs> both, both these characters or both these these guys are really good at resetting disadvantage. Is that gonna kill? Ooh. It was. It was enough. He has only an upbeat. Damn. I, was, I guess he. I don't know. He just didn't feel like going down there and back airing him on the way up. I'm surprised Leo just didn't back air there. He had Arsene back here too. So he absolutely would have just obliterated him. That's it. Oh. Good parry for tilt though. Oh, missed the tech. Uh oh. You better do. Uh oh, oh, oh. You better delete that stop right now. That's the GG meter right there building up. Oh my God. I'm surprised he, he could he have up smashed that? I feel like he might have been able to, but that's it. It's him. Yeah, right, right now Sonic's is kind of kind of shitting on him. If Leo gets the stock right now, it won't be too bad. But like, he needs it right now. Like, he can't take any more hits. No way. The bullet to get him off stage or off the platform into a tech chase scenario? No, all right. All right. All right, you got it. All right, only down by uh, down by a hundred percent. But like, in terms of like kill power and stuff like that. Okay, okay, okay. Now it's a lead. Now, like, this is like a big lead. They're just they're just whiffing everything right now, dodging everything they're throwing out. That was such a fast back here. They said Joker don't got a house out of shield option, bro. That shit fast as hell. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> back here into a grab. Ooh. The percent is slowly, slowly getting closer to even. He's just picking the the best choice. Just a little early on the landing, the back air hitbox not coming out. Allow Sonic oh, to get okay. Alright. I forgot Sonic about that. I, I thought he was gonna spring. Oh, he just SD'd. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he That's definitely... That's huge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Leo's trying to get the most... He's trying to get the most off of this Arsene because he knows he's going to very likely die in, like, the next, like, clean hit. That's, that's so smart to do. Like, I feel like, like he was doing that with the normal Joker down B as well because, like, shot, Sonic does have to uh, have to shoot out. Like, you can't, like, spin, cha spin dash charge and then, like, shield it and stuff like that. Even, like, if you jump, you have a hitbox. So, it's, like, it's a free counter, basically, at that point. Oh, that was, that was a little strange. Like, I'm surprised it just killed. Like, what? I like, like that he didn't make it back. He has no jump. That's def. Yeah. 
That was good. That was a good ass shot. Even with the SD though from Sonics, now at a 41% lead, a little bit of arson, like that shit depleting. That shit, it, have you ever looked at the meter deplete on its own? Look at that shit, bro. That's why does shit look like it's going down really fast right now? <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. There might actually be one. One air dodge read, catching a down air. No, he died in. Back air almost finishes him. Okay, wait. Another back air. They're coming out. Auto cancel. Yo, all these matches are last hit. You saw Leo get out of that spin dash into forward air. That's because no way. Oh my. Aware to hold down Yo. During spin dash combos at high percent. You'll just ride a little bit too low for it. To wow. Wow. Oh, but he's going to find it anyway. That Nair still hitting uh, Leo on stage right a little bit before that forward air hit at the, to, to close out the game. It was kind of crazy, bro. That shit lasted forever. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to swap. All of these have been last hit games. But well, I mean, he does got a power of Mifra, I'm sure. Man, there, were there it is, Mifra. Yep. I mean, I'm not surprised. He's beating Sonics every time, every other time with Pyro Mifra. And I think like one time with like Korn. If he gets jabbed near the... Oh! Wow, he got sent on stage? <laughs> what the fuck? Ooh! These characters, man. I'm not sure where to, like I'm not sure where to play Sonic. It's always it's always really difficult to <gasps> He's dead Now how big of a of a throw is, is that potentially we'll see <laughs> We'll see what goes on for the rest of the game Early side B so because he if in case he gets hit he still has his double jump He is not dead from that if it di crossed the, oh you're dead from that though the only thing I'm thinking of right now, I'm like, damn, bro, these characters look so fucking good, man. <laughs> oh, I wish Sephiroth was here, man. I mean, he appears sometimes. It's better than no times. Oh, what did it? Yo, that air dodge was actually crazy. Wow. Game four Leo moment, by the way. Down to up to up air, up air. Yep. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. Okay, nice. It's the Matrix, bro. What the hell? Bro. How does he come back? This is more surprising than when Sparkle would come back. Much more. Leo at the edge already. Wow, homie wow that actually Sonics hit. Is so in. Oh. Is locked and locked oh. oh my god. He still had his double jump. That's why I did an early up beat. Yo, that pull up hitbox was kind of OD. Mm, down smash. And I'm saying only 98% because you're still Ooh, pivot grab? Yo, how are all these springs missing? That's a stock. Leo potentially on his last stock. Woo! I can't, I'm not saying much words right now. I'm just, I'm just like... That's a stock. It's not over just yet. Oh, the tech That's it. That's it. Miss on the up beat, but hold on. Can't punish this. Wait a minute. Now, ah. foresight. I see you Oh, right my there. God. Okay. No way. No way, right? No way. Yo. No way. Oh. They don't get no slower than Pyra. Oh. That's it. Sonic Switch. The read on the jump. Oh my god. Holy shit. That was crazy, bro. Yo, Sonic's heart is probably fucking going crazy right now. That was crazy. Woo. That was probably the craziest set. Like that game five. Oh my god. If that pirate down there sweet spotted, he probably wouldn't have got a kill off of it, but like he would have got more off of it, obviously. Alright, well, it, you know, it happens once every VOD. Sometimes even twice. As you can see, Spargo started off the, start, the, the set. There's only been 40 seconds in this VOD or in this match. And Sonics is about to be at 
He's about to be at uh, one stock. How did that happen? Spargo down aired him twice. Like down aired him once and then down aired him again shortly afterwards and he died at like 40%. Oh, that's a stock. That's a stock. These are like these two players. Like, let me let me talk about this, man. These two players entered so many knife wars back in the day, man. And I'm watching them in losers finals of a of a super major, one of the most stacked, if not the most stacked, like NA only uh, super major. Like like you know, there there was like Gluto and a couple people from Europe and stuff. But like most super majors, what you call it, have like a bunch of Japanese players, European players, uh, NA players, obviously. But this one, there wasn't any Japanese players because there was Ume Boro was happening. But like, you know, regardless, I'm just trying to justify this is still a hard ass tournament. That's what I'm trying to get to. That's the point I'm trying to get to. And to see these two players when a couple years ago they were just entering knife wars winning uh, knife wars or doing like you know like top eights and stuff like that to this honestly it makes me really happy to see like like yeah i cannot express how happy it is to see like these guys supported the events back then uh placed really well and they just continued to get better in just in general uh going into ultimate from smash 4 and now look at these guys man i didn't really get to talk much about the actual game because uh sonics was down from the first 15 seconds and then he never ma managed to bring it back however he was he was putting in some work on that on spargo's second stock right there oh no punish on that Yo, getting hit by all them like down b hits is like <laughs> it's so loud this match is so much so much closer now because um he died really early so he had to play behind the literally every single second of that game but now he has the lead similar to like when he was playing against leo like this is how it looked like if like no super early stock gets taken grab nice perfect di on that back air but it was still enough to ko Oh, that's a stock. Yeah. I definitely don't think he wanted that. Oh, he might be dead here. Oh, my God. He had that scouted. If he got that forward air, he would have died. That was really close to the blast zone. Even if he's at 47%, nah, he would have died. Or at the very worst, like, he had no jump. He could only really come back with up B. It was a pretty, pretty bad spot. Yeah, he's getting he's getting some good mileage out of like every single scenario or any single Good DI Is he dead? He's dead. He's dead. He got he had no jump. I'm surprised he didn't at least try to like a B or something Maybe he didn't realize that he lost no or he had no jump Nah, right, Spargo is out here looking for blood right now trying to go try to get that run back against tweak Potentially 3-0ing Sonics after Sonics is currently dominating losers run right now. Oh, oh, Cosmos moment. Okay, just slightly too far. Oh, wow, the air dodge. Yep. Oh, okay, but the oh that's a... Oh, and he wasn't ready for the Ooh. Oh. Sure I feel like I haven't seen Sonics do a single F smash in like two sets. Hmm. 34. That's a stock. Yeah. Yeah, Sonics is like, damn, that definitely wasn't worth like, like, like the extra percent that he could have potentially got. Like down to up air was only going to kill on that platform at that percent that he was at, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh no. that was a very weird air dodge, but did not get punished for it. Oh, that might be. Oh, yo, he had, yo, he read the fuck out of him. That's it, that's it, that's it. Woo. Yeah, Sonics is not happy with that. He dropped so many confirms right there. 
Yeah, he just needs to win neutral, right? A trade that anybody will take any day of the year. Pretty much on the ready. Spargo said, I got the foresight even with Mithras not in play. Okay. Even with a even with a big lead, Sonic's just got a couple interactions. I didn't even realize that he or was already at like 100% prior to that. Either way, I'm going to see Spargo potentially swing things back into his favor here. Yes, wow. Oh, my God. Crucial. Crucial stock right there. If Sonic brings this shit back, I, Spargo's going to be put on the ropes. This is like the first person outside of Tweet to like put Spargo on the ropes in the past like two months. It's looking like it's looking like it's over. I feel like he he's just too he's too on point. Oh, that's it. Oh, good DI. Yeah, good DI on the narrow case. Sonic's now it's it. Oh, one more chance. Jesus. Oh, oh my God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The strings are here. Yo. No way he comes back. Oh, another whip punish into the forward air. Still Whoa. alive, but it might be his last chance. Oh, the double switch. The Spargo classic, but Sonic still. Oh alive. my god. Down to get out of the combo, but Sonic oh my god. With Wait, Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh. Ah, okay. oh, Sonic's almost making the craziest comeback of this top eight. That F smash miss? Sonic F smash? I have to see a replay. I have to see a replay. Bro, that shit missed by a literal pixel. Oh my god. If he. The landing animation, bro. That's so tragic. If he did it forward or down or downward, it would have landed, bro. That is that is gonna sting. <laughs> Holy shit. What, what a set. All right. Tweak versus Spargo. Grand finals for the third time in a row. So I guess a little fun fact here, besides the fact that I, that these guys are fighting each other for the third time in a row at a big tournament. Tweak is the first winner of Let's Make Moves. It was called Let's Make Moves back then. Now it's called Let's Make Big Moves. He was the first winner. There hasn't been any repeat winners. Um... He won the first one, and then it became Let's yeah, Make Big, big Moves, and I won that. Uh, the f I won the first one of when it turned to Let's Make Big Moves. Then, after that, uh, Quinn, the Pokemon trainer, won the, the, the last Let's Make Big Moves, and now this is it, the fourth time. So, Tweak has another chance, or has a chance to be a repeat winner of this series. That's a that's always a feels good man when you have like a another win in that same like major tournament series, but Spargo out here not gonna make it easy for him. So let's see what let's see what goes down here. Already taking the first stock. Are we gonna see another game ten grand finale uh, between these two players? We just saw saw them have a game ten at main stage in the same fashion as well um, as main stage with like Tweak being in the winner side and then. Uh, Spargo winning two really, really close sets through the loser's bracket, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, really? He had enough time to run up and up smash and, like, actually land it? Jeez. Okay. Ooh, kill percent and he got limit. Grab. That's it. Game one. Yo, you can't punish that unless you parry it. Telling you, people need to learn that. Uh, it's so helpful. I'm able to do it against Cloud offline. I mean, not offline. Online. I'm able to do that against Cloud offline. Ah, I got guy. I just said it again. I'm able to do parries on Limit Cross Slash online, for example. Like anytime I run into them Wi-Fi clouds and stuff, and I see that they have Limit, even if, you know, a lot of a lot of the times they do use Cross Slash a lot. So I try to like actually practice that, just so I can like see what I can get off of the the. Um, the parry punish with whatever character I'm currently using at that time. And then I just learned, you know, I'm like, okay, I can get this big of a punish. I can get this punish. I can get no punish. It depends. You know, it's just good to know. But anyway, enough about that yapping. Tweak right now is up by a whole stock and like 40%. Never mind. Now he's just up by a whole stock. 
We might see we might see a desperation dash attack from Spargo. Okay, double down tilt safe option. Ooh! Ain't no way we're gonna see a three stock, right? It's a three stock. It's a three stock. It's a three stock. Just forward air, just go off in forward air. You don't have to go for the forward tilt stare. Limit cross slash. I mean, limit a climb has does not have a hitbox the entirety of the way up. It disappears like after like halfway or a little over a halfway. So if he just did like a lingering forward air, uh, he would have just forward aired or he would have just drifted into the sour spot forward air and that's it. He's dead. Yeah, he, he won this game anyway at this point. It's over. A uh, three stop. Back in the lead, the the gonna hell? get eaten up by the back air and oh mm. no, too early. Yeah, yeah one thing one thing to note too, you see how like Spargo was recovering there. And Tweak tends to stay on stage and tries to like forward to maybe because he's scared of getting hit by the up B itself. But you gotta remember that if, if Spargo up B's and like aligns cloud with the ledge he's not going to do the second up b unless he wants to reset the stock like if you guys are at three stock a piece and he's like all right you know what his opponent is at like 20 percent and he's at 140 then he's gonna go for it but if you guys are like an even like both in that scenario they were both at like 120 percent i don't think he's gonna do it I, I i think he just wants to focus on getting back to the stage so that's why I would be like, you know, you shouldn't be too afraid to go for forward air there because if you do get hit by the up B1, you're not going to die to it. Like, it'll bring you up, but he's not going to go. He's not going to do the second part because then he's going to end up dying. Ooh, that DI? Up smash? Yeah, that was very, very punishable <laughs> option right there. Spargo is looking a little lost in terms of like how to like close out this stock right now. And Tweak is just playing that hard defense right now. Slowly getting chip damage. 52%. That is good. That is good damage for him. Ooh. Ooh. He wouldn't have died from it, I don't think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tweak will definitely be looking for, like, an ups. Oh, no. He said back it up, player. Okay, this is definitely Tweak's game to take right here. No limit on on Spargo. This is like really difficult. The nerves, the nerves. He's just sitting. Up to that's gonna kill. That's gonna kill. That's definitely a rare a, a rare Tweak move. Tweak is like he's feeling it now. One game away from winning the entire tournament. Oh, oh my God! This is it. I got, got the Smash Four theme. Oh shit! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Tweak is kind of moving. Oh, back air into another back air into cross slash. Oh, grab. Oh my God, that was really good. That yeah, tweak is very, very scared right now. He does not want to take more percent, any more percent than he has to. What the heck? Yeah, Diddy Kong got a square Enix grab? No grab range? I mean, he gets away with it, but we did see Spargo adapt in game one in a set. Ooh. Hold on. Maybe Tweak is adapting here. Oh, okay. Spargo going back to center stage. He does not want to potentially get gimped from anything right now. Oh, oh, I thought he has deed for a second. Hmm? Oh, that's death. Absolutely did not want that. Some some shield damage real quick. It doesn't do that much shield damage, but it's shield damage. Regardless. But it recharges pretty fast. Z drop it to F smash. Wait! Oh my god, Regal! Oh shit! He tried it. He was coming for it. He went for it all there. Alright, he's gonna try he's gonna try to get that limit. <gasps> oh it's over! Like he, he got the game! He got the game! Yeah, yeah. Like like I what I meant to say over, like it was over for for a tweak. Oh my god.
That was ridiculous. Good ass awareness by Spargo. Cause if Spargo up B towards the stage, he was not making it back because of that banana. So he was like, all right, I'm gonna up B the other way because he's behind me. Spike, even though it's not a strong spike, they were under the stage. The blast zone, the spike blast zone is closer to Diddy Kong than the normal blast zone is uh, than to Cloud. And he died first. Yo, Spargo is is actually the new Leo, bro. Like he just game four Spargo right now. <laughs> Something to take into account, of course, the platform placement. Mm. That Cloud's up to is a little bit better than I gave it credit for. Dude, I'm sure somebody's gonna be like, hey, actually, actually, Nairo, a, a Cloud is a little bit better, or a lot better than you thought. No. Not yet. <laughs> didn't, he didn't get the banana, though. He didn't get the banana. Only 33%. Uh, B is not gonna work there. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, cutting off the jump with down. Almost. That was so smart too. Through the banana pill. Spargo is not getting any damage right now. Guess himself every time he tries to move. Down throw. Okay, just back throw. But he's still glowing blue, so you gotta put some respect on his name in a corner. He's about to run out of limit. He needs to get back on stage. Yeah. Spargo knew his limit was. Oh, that's F. That's F. Woo! What is about to go down? Is Tweet gonna just ascend? Ooh! The damage is skyrocketing. Down smash. That might be it right there. He, I think he's gonna do it. He can't get off the ledge. Dude, this is so close. And you know what, man? I still feel like it's not over for Spargo. There is a universe in which it's over. This, but it's not going to be this. Oh, I, I thought you could get a better punish. I talked to Dr. Strange. I don't know if it's this one. It's over. That's, That's it. it. Tweak is your Let's Make Big Moves champion. Holy shit. He played that flat. He played that last stock fantastically. Oh, my God. Holy shit. What a fucking event, man. Tweak. Your grand champion. Bro, pop off, dog. Pop off. Stop the, stop the stage. There you go. There you go. Holy shit. Well deserved. He played that last stock phenomenally. He, yo, Spargo could not get back on the stage. Even though like he wasn't gimping his recovery, he just couldn't get back on the ground. Cloud on the ledge definitely, you know, can struggle in that aspect because he has to kind of respect a lot of options, especially someone like with lingering moves like Diddy Kong like forward air or like banana being lingering around in the air. Good stuff, good stuff. Wait, they got a trophy now? I ain't get a trophy. <laughs> All right, that's it. YouTube, I hope you guys enjoyed that. What a fantastic uh, set between Tweak and Spargo. They've been going back and forth. Uh, you know, in terms of like like losing sets and winning sets against each other. Tweak right now came out on top after Spargo has come out on top against him. The past two encounters, no better place to do it than let's make big moves. Congratulations to Tweak. Congratulations to Spargo, Sonics, Leo. Light, um, who else got, who else got fifth? Oh, um, Gluttony, and then seventh place was Riddles and Big Boss. Congratulations to the top eight. You guys are all amazing. And that's going to be it. So, YouTube, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it if you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more videos and, like, also streams as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.